Understanding, stifling silence, English language explained. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, stifling silence. This phrase is not just about quietness. It's packed with emotion and imagery. We'll explore its meaning, usage, and how you can incorporate it into your English conversations or writings. Let's get started. Stifling silence is a two-word phrase where each word plays a significant role in creating a vivid picture. Stifling. This word typically describes something overwhelmingly hot, suffocating, or oppressive. Silence. A complete absence of sound. When combined, stifling silence suggests a silence so intense and overwhelming that it feels suffocating or uncomfortable. To better understand stifling silence, let's look at some examples. 1. After a heated argument. Imagine a room where two people have just stopped arguing. No one is speaking, and the tension is palpable. This is a classic scenario for a stifling silence. 2. Awkward social situations. Picture a dinner where guests have nothing to talk about. The lack of conversation makes the atmosphere uncomfortable. 3. In literature and movies, writers and directors often use stifling silence to create a sense of tension, suspense, or unease. It's great to know the meaning, but how can you use it? Here are some tips. Describing emotions and atmospheres. Use it to express feelings or set the scene in storytelling, be it in writing or speaking. Metaphorical use. It can be used metaphorically to describe situations where there's a lack of communication or openness. Understanding synonyms can broaden your vocabulary. Similar expressions include deafening silence, palpable tension, oppressive quiet. These phrases convey similar feelings of an intense, often uncomfortable, quietness. And that's stifling silence for you. A phrase that beautifully encapsulates a specific type of silence that's more than just the absence of noise. It's about the feeling and atmosphere that silence creates. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase effectively in your English journey. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson.